Angela, Carrie Draft here, owner and founder of EcoTruck Fitness. I take you out on adventures. Just go to ecotruckfitness.com. You can find out all about what I do. There's a schedule there. You can track me down. Um, what I want to do today is update you on traction. It's 2022 and it's time. I've got updates for you. And I'm going to make this shorter because I made another traction video last January. Definitely check that out because everything in it is still valid. But here we go. Okay, I've broken this down into three levels. Level one by itself. Level two, yak tracks. Level three, Katulas and Katula knockoffs. Level one is your bargain dollar store. Um, maybe Walmart has them, I don't know. But they they don't really have a name. They are screw rubber and screws. Okay, super cheap. I think you can get them for five bucks. Um, level one, I'm not impressed. I mean, go ahead and keep them in your car, but they're not gonna give you a whole lot of traction. They're just screws, and I mean, look at how little they are. Like vertically, not a lot of grip, not a lot of grab. I'd skip level one unless it's an emergency. Level two is in two parts. Level two, I call the yak track level. And that's what we started out with in 2006 uh, with eco trekking. We didn't know any better. And Catulas back then were more, they weren't micro spikes, they were major spikes and they were a little more than we needed and pretty expensive. So yak tracks did the trick for probably eight, nine years of eco trekking hiking um, on ice, snow, slush, whatever, it got us through. Two different levels to yak tracks. Level one is the walker, is the yak tracks without the Velcro over the instep. Level one of yak tracks, skip it. Totally skip it. Don't even buy them. You'll walk right out of them. They might provide you a little bit of grip, probably like the screws, but um, nothing, no, they're not worth the $15. You'll walk right out of them, you'll lose them. We see them along the trail all the time. I don't know why people buy them. Level two of Yak Tracks is the Pros. That's these guys, and I still have, I don't use these, and I'll tell you why in a second, but if you're gonna do Yak Tracks, get these. I think they're $25, $27 now. I don't even remember exactly. I still have these in the box. I just keep them as an emergency. If, if somebody shows up and doesn't have traction, they can buy these from me. Um, totally cool. I do not wear these. But this is important, the whole Velcro thing. That will actually keep them on your shoes or boots um, and you won't walk out of them. So if you're going to get Yak Treks, get the pros. Don't get the walkers. Don't bother with walkers. Then level three is Katulas, and that I've broken into two different levels. You can see the little dangly chain here. This is a real Katula. This is the knockoff Katula. Sorry, they're dirty. I just wore them. We just said Eco Truck this morning. Um, you can see there's a little bit of difference in quality. This one, the real Catula is definitely higher quality, better rubber, um, you know, it's it's definitely the higher end. This is the knockoff, still rubber, rubber's rubber. Claws are claws, the micro spikes are there, okay? Micro spikes are here, they're so worn. I wear them on pavement too. I mean, you can never be too careful, but let me break this down for you too. Real Catulas, $70, pretty much. I don't think I've seen them cheaper than $70. And they come in black or red. And they come in small, medium, large. Um, you know, I like the medium large because they're still tight enough to fit my Solomon uh, trail shoes, but I can still, big enough to stretch around like a hiker boot. So anyway, um, love the Catulas, that's what I recommend. If you're gonna be out there every day hiking, if you wanna be outside a lot, if you wanna get your money's worth out of them, you will, these are gonna last you years. They will still break, especially if you come across uh, concrete curbs or any anything that's not soft snow, all right? They can even break on some ice, but this is how this one happened. You've got the little connector here and it just snapped right off. So, and it goes right into this little guy. So what I did was I've talked to the Catula people. They don't recommend replacing the links because they're like heavy duty 
you can't bend these with pliers. If you can bend them with pliers, you can bend them when you're walking on concrete. So no, that doesn't work. These are like a legit links. You can't bend them. So I'm going to, and what I did last year and the year before, I've had a couple of links break on these through the years. Um, I'm just going to go get the little, they're like keychain links kind of, um, at Home Depot or Menards and just bend them right on and they'll last for a while. When they, when they break, they break. Yeah, move on. You get another link. Let's say you don't want to spend $70. Let's say you're only hiking on the weekend. Let's say you want the really good traction but you just don't get out there that much and you don't want to invest $70, go with the crampon, the um, Cachula knockoffs, we call them. And these are only, these are the exact same price as these Yak Trek Pros, okay? So they're like 25 or $27, depending on where you find them. Um, and they definitely will give you traction. They will last nearly as long as a real Cthulhu and you can still repair them yourself. So I recommend Cthulhu's the real deal first, 70 bucks, um, second place, but still recommend the Cthulhu knockoffs because they're going to give you the traction. So to summarize, the three, the four levels, I guess. Level one is the screws, don't bother. Level two is the Yak Tracks, Walkers, and the Pros. Do not get the walkers. If it does not have the pro Velcro over the instep, do not get them. Yak Trek Pros, sure, I'll recommend them. Weekender, you know, walking the dog in the morning, whatever, that's cool. You're gonna go hiking, go with level three, go with the Catulas for $70, or the knockoffs for 25-ish. Either one, whichever one you can afford. You're gonna be replacing links on, on both of them no matter what. I've had them happen on both. and But I've also had both of them last. The knockoffs I've been using for the whole past year and a half, they're legit, they're fine. They're not as high quality as the Cthulhu's, but they'll get the job done, it's all. Um, depending on what platform you're seeing this on, go down to the comments, you'll find my links to find these, all of them, I'll put all the stuff up there. Or if this is a platform where there are no comments or you know a description box, uh, send me a message. I'll send you the links. Have a great day, get outside!